Sorry about that, Dennis. I ran out of memory, so I had to start again. So here's where I was. I was looking up the windows, I think. Very high ceilings. Helps with the natural light. There's your dining room over here. Fireplace. You can see the pool out the back. We'll eat in kitchen. And this granite was just installed the other day. It's got a double oven. That's where your little refrigerator goes. And it does have gas in the house, which means you should be able to put gas in here. Not a lot of storage, but I mean, how much food do you really, really need? Laundry room, the door to the backyard. There's your pantry. Got a finished floor. Good size garage because really your car's only gonna go, one car is only gonna go to about right here. Which means that all from here over, or I guess to give you a better idea, from the cabinet over, is all going to be workshop. Lots of room. I know you don't need a lot, but you have a door that goes out into the backyard from the garage. And from the laundry room. Sorry about that. Let's go look at the pool. And here's the backyard. Nice deck. In good shape. Some trees back here. The lot is just under a quarter of an acre. It's not a bad sized pole. It's probably about the size of ours. Maybe a little bit smaller. Which would mean it would be easier to take care of. where all your full equipment's at. Well, there you have it. Ninety-two fifteen Warriors Creek. 
all wrapped up. Turn all the lights off. And again, a little secondary part of the house. Okay, I'll call this good. Like I said, here's the outside. There's one cul-de-sac down there. And the other side of the cul-de-sac down there. <laughs> 